there's obviously quite a few parents out there that struggle with believing whether or not they can follow through with the workout and the meal plan. So what's one piece of, encur of encouragement that you would give to other moms whose lives are unpredictable, demanding, and require constant flexibility? When I'm with you, with them, because I was one of those, um, kind of like a, well, maybe years down the road when my kids are back in school and I actually have the time, I'll get back in shape and I'll worry about myself and all, all these things. Yeah. Um, and I'm just so grateful again that Taylor was like, just talk to Colt, you know? And she gave me that relatability factor of like, I'm a mama too, I'm doing this too. Like, mm -hmm. you can do this. Um, because it, I guess my piece of advice would be that it won't take, I'm gonna say it won't take as much, but maybe it won't take as much time as you are thinking that it might take in your day. For sure. I, these workouts, like some of my workouts I was done in 30, 35 minutes. And yeah. I felt amazing. I mean, you know, we're talking about these types of results. It's not like I was in my garage for two hours a day. Who has time for that? I don't. I mean, some people yeah. do that. I don't, right? I have almost two year old. You make that work. I have an almost two year old and a three and a half year old. Like I, you know, my husband is gone the majority of the time. Um, you know, by the time we have time at night, that's the last thing I wanted to do. So I guess, yeah, my biggest right. thing would just be, it's not gonna take as much time out of your day as you think that it will. And once you're in a routine, it actually becomes something that you look forward to. For sure, yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you said that. Thank, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, yeah. no, if there's one question that I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a lot of things like I'll be a friend, I'll be a coach, but I'm not going to play a violin and I'm not going to listen to excuses and I'm not going to listen to complaints. And, I know. <laughs> well, and we never had to have that conversation really, you know, yeah. uh, we, uh, there, there are a couple times where, where, where you, where you were like, okay, if I, if I, you gave me permission though, you were like, if, if, I, I, did. if I need to hear this, tell me straight. And I was like, Oh, this is breaking my heart. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and, um, and, well, and we, and we had a conversation. Yeah, and I mean, I give that same talk to myself for God's sakes. But, yeah. um, <laughs> but th there's, but, but I, yeah, I, I just can't stand it when, when I, I can't stand it when the excuse is coming because the, the, the excuse is, you can. Arnold Schwarzenegger says you can have excuses or you can have results. You yeah. can't, you can't have both. Right. And when, and when people say like. Oh yeah, I, I would love to train the way that you do, but I have a full-time job and I have this and I have that. And I'm like, dude, do you have any idea the responsibilities that I have right now? Like, have you ever owned two businesses at the same time? I mean, I find a way to make it work. And nothing yeah. is my most important meeting of the day is my own workout, you know? Yeah. And and sometimes it sometimes it takes two hours, but it's because I do a set of squats and then I get a phone call and I do another set of squats and I get another phone call and I do another set of squats and somebody needs a diaper change. And <laughs> <laughs> One thing after the next. Um, <laughs> but, I can't count how many times I've had to change this poopy diaper in the middle of a workout. Yeah. <laughs> it's so annoying. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm gonna leave that from their nap or whatever, but right. uh, just make yeah. it happen. And yeah. But I'm grateful too for that that you met me where I was at, right? Like I, you knew from talking to me, like that. I mean, 35 minutes. That was the, the shortest of short, right? The majority I was in there for 45 to 65 minutes. But I timed that around that, maybe had kids running around in the garage, maybe had someone wake up from a nap early, whatever. But I knew I was going to feel better and be a better mom and be a better wife if I did those things. Right. And you just knew that was that was kind of my max of where I was at emotionally, mentally, kind of capability wise of the help that I have right now. And yeah, you just made that happen in a program for me that was totally doable and sustainable. Um, and yeah, and I'm just forever grateful for that. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for that. You do that for me too. So thank you. I'm not, I, you know, now you think, yeah. but I'm never in the gym longer than 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm always in and out in 50 minutes.